Hello there, it's computer mod time again and this time I'm going to break out this bad boy here. It's my latest pride and joy that you've seen in the previous episode. I've already shown you the restoration process but there's a few things that I have not really mentioned yet and that's something at the back here. If we take a look at the connectors we see the RF output here, we see the monitor port, we see the cassette port, the power, but what's this? This is not original, no, because that's something we've added. It's an RGB output, and the RGB output was surprisingly easy to make. It turns out that the video chip, the Texas Instruments TMS 9929A, has native component output that is fed into a uh, well video converter circuit and that converts that into composite and into RF. But because it is component, it is a high quality signal and we can very easily convert it into RGB. After a bit of googling, we managed to find the schematic and the description of how to make your own uh, MSX1 RGB mod. So, let's find out how we did that. So, there we are. We are working on a very special project. Um, yes, the MSX1 is open again. That's because we are creating an uh, RGB mod. It turns out it was very easy to um, tap off the component video signals from this uh, Texas Instruments TMS99 video chip. And um, we created this little circuit here, uh, which is uh, actually a component to RGB converter. Uh, we found a schematic on the internet with a uh, description of it and uh, well we rebuilt that and um, this is also the first board uh, that my dad made in over 35 odd years or so that he has etched he used to do that uh, way before I was born and uh, well in recent years he's been using that wire wrap method but uh, yeah this is the first time in 35 years or so that he has uh, actually etched a board. So uh, this is the first time for me that I've actually seen that. Well, I've never seen how this is done but um, yeah we uh, used a uh, laser printer to um, print out the uh, design that was uh, created with LibreOffice Draw and uh, well we printed it on a uh, transparent film and then you can very easily use an iron to transfer the uh, toner then we touched it up with a, a permanent marker and then we could etch it. So um, yeah, that's a little bit of uh, progress here. Uh, a bit later I might uh, demonstrate a bit of the uh, RGB in action when it's all uh, hooked up again. But um, yeah, we have already calibrated these uh, trimmer pots here. We wrote a little basic program uh, for that. And yeah, with these pots you can calibrate the three color components. So that's a bit of uh, an insight in this nice new mod. Uh, we've changed it up a little bit. First we had uh, tire ribs. Now we uh, bound the uh, wires using tape. The tire ribs were getting stuck. And also we made a little change about here. We've now soldered these connections because they would easily come loose. 
So it's time to uh, reassemble uh, it again. So the mod is finished, it's time to show the result. Uh, as you can see here we have installed a, a D-sub connector that outputs to a SCART lead. So let's uh, switch it on. Um, and I'm capturing uh, straight from a CRT TV so it will look a bit strange. But uh, hopefully you can uh, see the results as I uh, compare it against uh, RF. Because I've also got the uh, RF cable attached. So currently it's in uh, RGB mode. As you can see the colors are quite nice and saturated. And if I switch to uh, RF you see that the colors are uh, a lot more washed out. And just the image is a bit uh, grainier. So with this TV you can switch back and forth quite easily. So there you have it. That is an uh, RGB mod complete. And uh, well, I think I'll uh, do a few captures with the uh, Avermedia capture card. So that we can have some uh, proper uh, footage of it. So there you have it, that was our MSX RGB mod done. It was surprisingly easy as you can see and it looks very nice and sharp and very colorful. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.